On North Hawkett Street sits in an area immune to time, the Zalot House. Stepping into the house inspires all of the construction and the deep history of the location. In it lies a history of a family and their woes. Picture yourself as a pedestrian in Porterville, 1891. You see the new house to town. It adds a certain type of class to Porterville. A beautiful two-story Second Empire style that looks out of place in Porterville. It is a brick red and almost looks pink from certain angles. From what you have heard around town, there are four spacious, different rooms for the Zalot family. You can smell the garden's exotic flowers from the street. The whole house is surrounded by a brick and metal fence that wards off intruders but still looks inviting. The story of the house begins with John Zalot, who immigrated to the United States from Bohemia, modern-day Czech Republic, in 1866 at the age of 16. He married a family friend in 1875, Mary Jane Herdlicka, in San Francisco. John and Mary moved to Larry soon after being wed. John Zalot had a business-oriented mind set up a restaurant to Larry, Delmonico's. It was very popular among the railroaders at the time. Eventually, the demand for rails was on the decline in the valley, so that meant there was a decline of people wanting food from Delmonico's. So John packed up his family and moved to Portville. He opened a saloon and he made an immense amount of profit from his business ventures. He was able to buy several acres of ranch land. On this land, he built a house for him and his family. In Portville, California, 1912, Mary Jane Zod had died due to tuberculosis. Every five years, a family member had died from there on out. In 1917, just a few years later, William was shot in a hotel rocking chair by a lady who had been spreading rumors about. Five years had passed, their son Edward had been thrown off his horse and kicked in the head. Although some say it wasn't his enemies, we still don't know to this day. Thankfully, after the three tragic deaths, John and Anne had died of old age. And as for Pearl, she went on to be the last Salad family member alive. After a while of living alone, Pearl had died of old age as well. Before her death, she had donated her land here in Porterville and her house to the city of Porterville. After the donation, the house had become a museum, a county treasure, and the land donated became a park named after the family, the Zalud Park. So with the house not only a treasure, it alone is one of the few city museums. In fact, one of the only museums with all the original artifacts from the family, and all the things are in the same spot where the family had it. The Zalot House will continue to be used as a museum for the people's entertainment and also to keep the people of Porterville informed on their history of the city. The Zalot House will also be used to keep up with the program the house and the city collaborate on, paranormal movement investigations that take place in the house itself. The investigations reach out to some of the Zalots like Pearl and sometimes John. The Zalot House also has a small garden to the side, which is what they call Salad Rose Garden, where small outdoor weddings are sometimes held. There is a fee for the garden area, bridal room, kitchen, tables, and chairs. The house continues to stand as one of Portoville's oldest and most original landmarks in the area. It will help people understand how life used to be during the time the Zalot family was living and all of the hard times and journeys of them.